Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Jared and Ryan with The Burger Report, and we are at Choo Choo Grill today, right off Plainfield and Leonard, uh, downtown Grand Rapids, and we're pretty excited for this one. We just grabbed our burgers from inside, and it couldn't have been any cooler in there. The tons anticipation. Of, tons of character, an old railroad building uh, right, next, right next to some tracks down here, and uh, super cool, very friendly in there. And uh, we're excited. It's our, our first time eating here. Uh, we've, we've heard good things, but we're going to put that aside. We're going to put the cool factor aside and, uh, and give it a fair burger report score. And before we even take this out of the wrapper, if you guys are liking these burger reviews, please hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to the burger report so you don't miss any awesome burger reviews like this in our quest to find the best burger and we're starting here in the heart of west michigan and uh, eventually we'll branch out a little bit but it's our quest right now to uh really find the best burger in our backyard so without further ado choo choo grill burger uh this is a deluxe cheeseburger from choo choo grill uh there's lettuce tomato mayo and olives on it that's how they make it that's how we got it um, standard issue olives yeah, man, oh man, this thing has got some weight. It's a half pound patty, and as you can see, like this is, that is some big burger patty action there. Um, you know, appearance-wise, there's nothing beautiful about this burger. Like, I don't think uh, the foodies of Instagram are going to uh, go viral with a, a picture of this. Like, it just looks big and kind of sloppy. Mm -hmm. But you know what? That's fine with the burger. Um but you know it's that that little bit of sloppy factor is you know two out of three speaking on that. of which i'm looking for my uh my napkin here here i got plenty right here <laughs> okay thanks aroma man this thing smells great i'm going two out of two out of aroma i think uh this this big messy burger is is adding to that that I, delicious I feel, aroma yeah i feel like the aroma of the restaurant and the uh the burger uh, are two out of two definitely uh, the bun, you can tell we got some toasting on the bun. Um, we saw them doing that on the saw griddle there. The uh, we have a, what do you think? That's it's not like, a, is that a sesame bun? The no, small sesame. We have, we have some kind of there. seasoning on the top. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, well, so I guess we'll, we'll bite in and see how this is. Yeah, I mean, that's just a, that is a massive burger. One bite, and, and there's, there's a lot more to go after that. Yeah, just I feel big, like big burger. get your napkin ready when you're having a Choo Choo Grill burger. Mm -hmm. um, but bun's good. It's soft. Um, you get a little bit of that buttery crunch from the toasting. You know, I'm going to go three out of five on the bun. Uh, pretty standard issue bun. Nothing's messed up about it. It's soft. It's doing the job. On bun, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go like, I'm going to go like two and a half, almost three on it. I put a lot of focus on a bun. Oh, the first, because... the first half. That is, that is, that's a solid. I like the technicality there. That's the first decimal point the Burger Report has officially had. It's so, all within, it's all within play here. Yeah, I really like how my patty's cooked. Um, you know, it's it's done medium, so there is still a little bit of pink color in there, which is great for me. Uh, and we were asked how we wanted it prepared, so yep. you go in there, you let them know how you want it. I know everyone's a little different, but I like a little pink in the center of mine. I know we're not there yet, but that tomato's good on there. Mm -hmm. It's a juicy tomato. In fact, I took a bite and half that tomato exploded Same on my sweatshirt. Yep. All yep. right, Patty, this thing is a monster. Uh, it's cooked right, super juicy, mm -hmm. not not super crusty. Um, you know, there could be a little more crust, a little more sear on the patty, mm -hmm. but this thing is massive. Like that's a monster patty. So I, I like the bulk of the patty. The seasoning, it, uh, it could use a little more seasoning, I think. It could use maybe a touch more salt and definitely not getting a whole lot of pepper coming through. There's uh, really not a lot of seasoning to that burger. And no. you know, we asked them about that. They do breakfast and lunch here and they were proud of the fact that they don't season the patty. You're getting the flavor of the French toast, the bacon, everything that they're putting on that grill and I think they could use some seasoning. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go one out of two on seasoning. But to give a the final score on the patty, this is tough because it's a it's a good patty. It's it's cooked nice, uh, plenty of juice. Uh, I guess the sear is really what's kind of holding some of it back for me. Mm -hmm. You don't get all that flavor, you know, when you get a nice crust on the burger. I'm gonna follow your lead with the decimal point. I'm going 6.5 out of 10 on the patty. Yeah, they put it on the grill. They put a flat iron weight on it to to cook it all the way through in a right amount of time. 
but toppings, I'm a four out of five on the toppings. I think toppings are excellent. The tomato is nice great. Tomatoes nice and juicy. Yeah. Lettuce is crisp. Mm -hmm. And then I like the olives on it. I know yep. not everybody's an olive person, yep. but I like green olives. There's green olives yep. that come standard on the deluxe cheeseburger here. Yeah, and I like, uh, I like that a lot. I think that's going to boost that up to a four out of five. Uh, cheese. I got cheese leaking out. I got an awesome amount of cheese. For how big that patty is, like yes. they put a ton of cheese on it. That's they awesome. covered the like, patty with the cheese. The, it is smothered in cheese. And, and the then, cheese pieces they put on there are thick. And we got at least two pieces of cheese on there. It is thick cheese. It is gooey. They it nailed is, the cheese. It's everything. They, they nailed the cheese. That's that that's that's, ex, that's, that's cheese perfection. That's, that's cheese a five perfection. out of five right there. Sauce condiments. Uh, I'm going two out of three on, on the sauce condiments. Um, I'm just getting a lot of mayo as far as sauce. I'm not really getting uh, anything out. Well, that's probably because no other sauce comes on it right. except mayo. So just mayo. The mayo is doing a nice job. Um, I don't know if it needs a whole ton of mayo, really, with the juiciness of the burger. Mm -hmm. um, but sauce, two out of three. And overall taste, like, this is this is really good. And, mm. again, I'm going to have to wash this sweatshirt later. I mean, this thing's a monster. Uh -huh. This thing's big. <laughs> oh. And they had a one-pound burger in there. This is the measly half pounder. Overall taste, I'm going 11 out of 15. Yeah, I'm I'm uh, definitely leaning more toward that two thirds vote. So I'm going to go with 10 out of 15. All right, we tallied it up on the official Burger Report scorecard. I'm not sure if you can even read anything on there, but I came in at 36 and a half. Ryan, what'd you come in at? 34 and a half. 34 and a half. So, good burgers. I mean, that was a good burger. Choo Choo Girl, Plainfield and Leonard, overall solid experience. If you're digging these, subscribe, turn your notifications on so you don't miss out on future burger reviews. And uh, spread the word, share this with your friends so they know where to get the best burger in town. Anyway guys, it's been fun. Jared, Ryan, the Burger Reporters, we'll see you next time.